is getting ready to perform in front of 60,000 people tonight in Brisbane. It's the second stop of her Australian tour. Seven News reporters, Simon Love is live outside the gather this morning. Good morning to you, Simon. They've had to bring in extra seats. Morning, Ange. 24,000 plastic chairs have been placed onto the hell turf of the gather. And there's a bit of plastic covering underneath. There's some talk that that might even damage the Gabba wicket. But all the focus right now is on Adela Mazongs and the beautiful ballad that she'll perform here at the gate tonight too. Which is expected to be a capacity crowd of 60,000. But with all of that comes the effect that this concert and this event will have on this local area. The Gabba is actually surrounded by residential homes and that sort of thing. Very different to, say, venues like the MCG, which have Parkland and Sydney Olympic Park that have different stadiums around it. So a lot of the local residents have raised concerns this morning about parking uh, bays in the, in the local area being replaced by loading zones overnight. But there is an upside for those residents. If their backyards are close enough here to the gather, well, they might be able to hear the song stresses ballads right from the com comfort of their backyard. I know, I think they can money rent out some spots on the balcony. Thank you, Simon. Thousand fans are expected to fill the sporting venue on both Saturday and Sunday night for her two concerts. The Grammy Award winner will perform atop a 360-degree stage in the middle of the sports ground, while concert goers will be seated on the field for the first time since its redevelopment. The Gabba's manager, Blair Conahan, says an additional 23,897 seats have been shipped in along with an extra 100 entry scanners and 1,200 meters of temporary fencing. There will also be 24 additional food and beverage stands, stocked with 20,000 glasses of champagne, 60,000 glasses of wine and 200 kilograms of cheese and crackers, he said. Well, Adele has driven fans wild after she called Australia her second home while performing in Perth for the first time. She sang for two hours and was supported only with a band, no backup dancers and no wardrobe changes. said her performance was captivating but it was her anecdotes and humor that took her show to a whole new level. Adele will also visit Brisbane, Sydney, Adelaide, Melbourne and Auckland. Brilliant performer.